All right, good morning everyone. This is Prem's Crypto Market Update for September 13th, uh, 2018. Welcome everyone. Um, Bitcoin is doing 6,417, up 1.4%. And if we look at the altcoins, have gained faster in the top 10 than Bitcoin itself. Ethereum is up 6%, now doing 189, uh, still below the $200 level. And uh, if we look at the market cap, it's 195 billion, meaning we're still below the $200 billion level. If you look at volumes, volumes are a little bit lower. Uh, we are 12.7 billion and BTC dominance has come down, but still very strong at 56.8%. Now, which coins have gone up in the last 24 hours? We can see Aurora up 51%, Nano up 21%. I own up 15% and one chain up 13% and the list goes on basically for double digit growths. Um, the coins which have done not that well in the last 24 hours, we're looking at AmeriCoin 7.3% uh, down, Bitcoin Dark 4% down, R Chain 4% down, GX Chain 3% down. Um, R Chain has been really taking a hit at 19 cents doing now. So let's see how this will involve. So if we look at the news comes from Ethereum, basically, uh, we see more and more shorts basically on, eth on Ethereum. So the contracts which are, you know, holding Ethereum back have grown a lot. This is basically done on the Bitfinex exchange. They've clocked 248,000 shorts and uh, it was even a record uh, a couple of days back. Uh, with 247,000 um, uh, getting shorts, basically. Meaning that, um, you know, in the last 13 months, we've seen a low of 167 of uh, Ethereum, and it's really keeping it down below the 200 level. <coughs> so it's going to be a strong, um, um, yeah, what do you say, a, a resistance uh, line, the $200 line, Let's see if Ethereum will come out of it. Huawei, the Chinese exchange, is now aggressively entering uh, the Japanese market. They have taken over a BitTrade, a Japanese uh, government-approved crypto exchange. And with that, uh, Huawei is now entering, basically, uh, the Japanese market. Um, and uh, with that, uh, Huawei is basically... Uh, again, uh, acknowledging that it wants to be a world player and with this uh, takeover, they will definitely, it's a 100% takeover, they will be uh, basically uh, getting into the Japanese continent. The next news comes from Malta. Uh, Waves, as you guys know, is a decentralized cryptocurrency platform uh, of Russian descent, uh, the Russian team basically. And they have been talking with uh, Malta, the government of Malta, to look how to uh, basically um, make blockchain more accessible to the government. Meaning that they were looking for opportunities to uh, get uh, the land department basically on a blockchain. So these are one of the things which are happening. And... Uh, in the last couple of days, we've seen also that Waves, the coin, has basically also risen a lot. This is the news for today. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Put the thumbs up. And i see you on the next one. BitcoinMagazine.nl